So uh, Nikolai Markovich here from Echo Lake Technologies, uh, echolaketech.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a login screen. And this is going to be the first in a series of videos to show you how to make a uh, calendar app, which can be used uh, if you have clients to allow them to sign up for uh, meetings uh, when you are available. So the first thing we're going to do is get a text field here and this is going to be our username and just make this a little bit better um, and the input and this is going to be username which will be of type email and let's make this 200 and the height will make 35 like that and then we'll have password and then the input for password that and it is going to be password. I should also check this off to make sure that the input is not empty for this. Like that. And then basically we will add some buttons here to login and then I'm going to also one on here for create account so for new users so they can create an account and then I'm also just going to add a logout button on here as well so let's see when the login is clicked we will go and we're going to log the user in and it's going to be their username value, which was basically from that one input, and their password as well. And then we're going to put yes on this. So basically when the browser gets closed um, and they open it back up, it'll remember their email for logging in the next time. And that's it for the login. It's pretty simple and pretty straightforward. Uh, for creating the account, um, I'm actually going to come back to that in a moment. So we're going to do a pop-up for that. For logging out, all we're going to do is log the user out. So basically for login and log out, it's pretty simple for doing that, those uh, functions. Now, uh, let's see, I want to create a pop-up for doing a login. and move this over a little bit. Now the type of content is going to be of type user because we're going to be creating a user account. And I'm going to go up here. And username. Just a little note. It's your email address. Input is going to be username, and actually, I'm going to do create username like that, and it is going to be email type. Um, should not be empty. Okay, and I'm just going to make this 200. Next have password password there like that create password 
And then we're going to go just copy and paste this. And it's going to be a type of password. Create password like that. And then I'm going to put in here verify password. Oops. Verify password. And then here we come to verify password for the input. And that's also not empty. And then what we will do is a button to create and close. So basically when we push this button, it's going to create the account and then it's going to close this pop-up. And the other thing I'm going to do is Another one here that basically is just going to close the window or the pop up rather. I put a little text at the top here saying create user account like that and just kind of make it a little bit better. Center it, and then on here, double or right clicking, and then center that horizontally. There. Um, actually, going to just make this a little bit nicer. Oh, move that up a little bit. Like that. Now, this will be the simple. One here, all we're going to be doing is going to Element Actions, and then we're going to be hiding this pop-up. Actually, I like the. It's going to be pop-up, create user account. Give a little more descriptive here. So you'll see if we go back to the workflow, it's going to automatically bubble automatically. We'll update that. Now for creating. What we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to sign the user up. And this is how we create a new user account in Bubble. So we're going to go input username's value and then input password's value. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to click the require password confirmation. So then this way, when the user is creating an account, they can verify. Now, the other thing that we will do here is send an email to confirm the email. We're not going to click on that, but if you did, then it would send the uh, user an email confirming. Um, and what we're going to do here is just similar to the other uh, workflow. We're going to have this uh, set as yes to remember the email. And uh, that is basically it. What we'll do next is we're going to reset the data so that when the window pops open again, um, it will reset those inputs. And then what we want to do is we want to hide this window. And actually, I'm going to go back to close because I don't think that uh, we did a reset on the data. like that. And at this point, let's give this a try. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to create an account. You know what? I didn't uh, set that up. Now did I? So we want to go and show the pop-up. Yeah, so I want to make sure, so I got that input as required and required. Okay, we should be all set. 
So let's create an account and we'll call this um, uh, test user at test.com and just go like that and create. And there we have it. Now this user should be logged in, but what I'm going to do is put in a welcome, and then what we'll do is we will go and current users email. And you can see, welcome test user. And then we can log out. It's empty. Test user is the default. I had test, uh, test user at test.com. Log in. There we go. Log out. It's gone. Just like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. This is again going to be the first in a series of videos as we build out a calendar tool. Um, if you like this video, give a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, certainly leave a comment below and we'll see you in the next video.